What's your life goal? And have you achieved it? Yeah, I married you. Aw, gross. You really need to go out there and make sure the whole world hates you. My butthole is all over the internet. The fine wine. She keeps me in the basement and pulls me out when she needs me. If I drink Sambuca, he's getting it. I bought a case. You can tell a lot about a person by the way their tits, pussy, or dick looks. You come near my cheeks and it's not going to be a good day for you, homie. <laughs> this is going to be special. Welcome to the Two Onions Podcast with Danny Daniels and Vic. What's up, guys? I'm Danny Daniels, and next to me is my husband, Vic, and with us is AJ Applegate. Hi! <laughs> How are you? I'm good. How are you guys? Good. You look amazing. You're glowing. You look vibrant. You have... I've just been so happy lately. Oh, well... <laughs> You know, that's what happens when you date a civilian. I'm just saying, <laughs> just saying, you know. Well, I mean, I'm about to be gross and monogamous like you guys. Hey! I know. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> Are you really? Yeah, I like, we're just, even though it's so like fast and mm -hmm. soon, we're just, we got so serious so quickly. I was like, I don't even want to work with other guys or anything like I just want to be with you oh my god that sounds so it sounds so gross when you say it out loud but I totally understand <laughs> I now, you know what now I need to have a drink with this guy seeing your posts you definitely are glowing happy which is great because as a friend we love that it, it looks good definitely thank you definitely <laughs> how did you guys like how, are you it, like, you How'd you meet? Yeah, like, I have so many questions. <laughs> okay, so we met on Hinge. Yes! <laughs> really? That's yes! freaking awesome. <laughs> it's so I've never really used dating apps. I used Bumble once. Okay. And I didn't like it, because, like, the girl is supposed to be the one to, like, I mean, which is fine, but I just didn't like having to go after the guys. So my makeup artist was like, oh my God, you should download Hinge. I think you'd really like it. The guys on there are more like serious, like mm -hmm. looking for a relationship. And I was like, okay, I guess I'll try it. And he was the first guy I went out with. And I was the first uh, girl that he met on there as well. Because oh. he just downloaded it too. Oh, so it was meant I to be. I love that. <laughs> yeah, it was crazy. Have you so. ever... I always hear horror stories of people that like will make a profile on a dating app, but then get it deleted because they think that it's a scammer. Right. Like, so yeah. <laughs> again, like, are you real? Am I being catfished? Yes. I was like, listen, this was during like right before people started going back out and stuff. Mm -hmm. um, so I was like, let's just FaceTime. Oh yeah. So you know, I'm real. And he was with his twin brother. <laughs> what? So, He's got a twin? Like identical? Yeah. So he tried to confuse me, but it didn't work. <laughs> that's it. I love it. Oh my gosh. And that's all she wrote. Yeah, because like usually it's hard dating civil like air quote civilians like when you're in porn, like in finding someone that's understanding, it really is like finding a unicorn. You know? Yeah. Like because I remember when I first got in, I tried to date a guy, like a, just a regular guy. And it was just way too jealous. It was awful. And he was like, it's either me or your job. And I was like, well, obviously my job, because I yeah. just started. I yeah. just yeah. started dating. I don't yeah. know that's giving me ultimatums anyway. So bye. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, that's, a, that's then, a great way to start the relationship off. Do what I tell you to do. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And I was just like, no. You know, I'm good. Are you, I know that you're shooting, like, a lot of stuff for your OnlyFans. Are you still shooting for other companies? Like, if you, if the monogamy thing happens, are you going to just, like, focus on your OnlyFans? Or are you going to, does girl, girl count? Like, where's your, if you don't mind me asking, where's your line? So I just did my last boy-girl scene for my OnlyFans with J-Mac. And, um, oh. and my last boy-girl scene for Brazzers. So now I'm just gonna shoot girl, girl, and solo. Um, I might shoot for other companies, but I think I'm just gonna be super picky, which it's gonna be like that anyway, because I'm sure it's not gonna be crazy bookings anyway for that. Yeah. yeah. So if it's like a cool project or something, 
and it's like worth it. I'll go out to LA, I'll shoot content, and I'll do the scene. Mm -hmm. uh, but I mean, I live in Florida now, so it's probably I'm probably not going to get that much out here anyway for that. Yeah, we know the feeling. Florida life. <laughs> Florida <Yeah>. life. <laughs> <laughs> Concentrating on my OnlyFans anyway, which has been so much better. I love creating my own content. It's mm -hmm. so much fun. And your content looks really good. Like, thank you. Yeah, it's it looks <laughs> amazing. I saw your Christmas stuff that you've done, and it looks like it all looks like it looks well done. It's not you know some right. like and I'm I'm the queen of like a shitty lighting and like super amateur, but your stuff I'm like, damn, it looks really fucking good. No, yours don't look bad. Oh, I'm super lazy. I'm like, I'm just gonna masturbate on my couch in my jammies, like. But your stuff looks like <laughs> super, like production-wise, awesome. You but, know. That's good. I mean, literally, just use the iPhone, and there's like this app that you can get that makes it look like professional camera mm -hmm. while it's recording on your phone, and then I just edit it and maybe like make it a little bit brighter or whatever and it look yeah it looks like a camera <laughs> <laughs> or like it's as good as like the produce stuff and i'm like well thank you <laughs> i mean it does shoot in 4k so it's not like a shitty little phone camera True. Yeah. True. right right yeah is it hard for you to balance motherhood and shooting for yourself and new and new and relationship new yeah <laughs> and new guy like yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's really hard because I'm on there trying to message everybody and then like trying to, you know, be with my son too. It's just, it's a lot. And then, but you know what? The boyfriend helps. Aww. The dad too. So he oh, knows. Oh, that's so cool. He has to help as much as he can. Mm -hmm. So it's really nice. I'm trying. I'm figuring it out. I'm getting down like a routine. <laughs> yeah, that's like that was like the biggest challenge when I started shooting like only for myself is balancing. Yeah. You're like, oh, but I don't want to today. <laughs> like forcing yeah. yourself to like go to work, you know? Right. Yeah, that was definitely hard in the beginning. Like, because I knew I could just be like, oh, I don't feel like it today. Yeah. <laughs> I have to like plan things out so that I have to do it. And I'll just try to get a lot of stuff done in one day. Mm -hmm. so that way it's, like, worth it. Yeah, just knock it all out. Do you find yourself, like, when you started shooting for yourself, did you discover, like, any new fetishes or any new scenes that you didn't realize you enjoyed shooting as much? Um, no, not really. Because I've always kind of done everything. Mm -hmm. But it's fun getting to pick like girls that I never got to work with. Like, oh, I get to hit her up now and be like, hey, let's do this, you know? You can go slide into her DMs like, hey, I kind of always wanted to bang you. Like, can you? <laughs> yeah. I'm like, oh, yeah. I get to pick who I want. Yes. <laughs> Which sounds so weird, but yeah, like especially with mainstream shooting, you kind of, it's rare. Like if you, I, if you got to pick who you're working with, it was like the best day ever. Yes. And some, yeah. And otherwise, it's like this crap shoot. You're like, uh oh, am I gonna like them? Am I not gonna like them? Is it, you know? <laughs> right. So. Yep. Um, that's so awesome. I'm like team shoot your own content, so I'm like, yeah. <laughs> I know, and you've been doing it for a while. So. Yeah. Yeah, I love it. I'm like all for it. I'm the same. I'm the same as you. I'm like, I gotta wake up and be like, what am I in the mood to shoot today? Or like, you know. Yeah. For me, I've discovered I'm a lot more into like domination stuff. Now that I'm shooting for oh, myself, wow. which I didn't realize. So, it's just, Hot. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Except for, like, if he's in the house and I'm shooting something, he'll, like, come downstairs like, what's going on? Yeah. Like, you were screaming. <laughs> am I in trouble? Did I get yelled at? Did I really? I wasn't even in the room. How am I getting in trouble? <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> Okay, so I want to talk about your merch because I love that you're wearing your butt unplanned. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Where did that cut? Like, you have, like, because I feel like you're doing it right because you have, like, your own Instagram page, which is AJ's merch, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. Okay, S subtle, subtle promo. Uh, and then, like, Not so subtle. you have. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, what made you want to do merch? And, like, it looks like you're doing the whole thing yourself. So it's, that's got to be even more on top of shooting and motherhood and all the things. Right. So 
I actually had a, well, he's my friend now and he's actually my son's godfather. Um, he hit me up like, I think it was, I don't know, 2016 maybe. Okay. Um, and he was like, Hey, like, I feel like you're really great on social media and he has his own, uh, t-shirt line so he was like you know I'd love to collab with you and maybe if you want you could start your own so we met up and we had like a meeting and we decided everything and then we took it from there and um it's just been so great ever since it really the first line that I released like really took off fast I think almost everything sold out in like 72 hours that's That's awesome yeah, which I was so nervous about, too, because I was like, because he told me since he's been doing this for so long, he's like, you really have to push it. Mm-hmm. Shirts are hard to sell. Like, it's you really have to be on top of everything. Um, but this year, with the pandemic and everything, it's been a little bit harder. Yeah. So I kind of not took a break, but I haven't been pushing it as much. Mm-hmm. And now that everything is kind of going back to normal, I was like, let's come out with a calendar. Yeah. Um, things like so the calendar is gonna come out i think next week awesome uh, so i'm like super excited about that and yeah it is hard to balance but i'm already having to be on social media anyway mm-hmm. so it's just work that i have to promote but yeah it's a lot going on for sure <laughs> like, child in one hand phone in the other <laughs> it's like... i know but it's inspiring that you can balance everything out so ma- like you know you can't tell on social media it looks like you have everything yeah. easily yeah. put together I'm not I'm totally a wreck every day <laughs> <laughs> sounds like motherhood yeah it sounds like motherhood that's perfect yeah uh, behind the Instagram they'd be like oh my god <laughs> what the hell just happened yeah I always thought it'd be funny if like your camera was reversed like when you were posting like what you actually looked like when you're like posting this photo you know what I mean this curated edited photo like meanwhile like yeah. your hair's up in a bun you have like coffee you're half asleep like <laughs> laying in bed blankets up to your nose yeah. <laughs> is your calendar going to be available on your merch store or is it a separate project what is it? Is your calendar available on your merch store, or is it a separate project? Yeah, it will be available. Yeah. We're only going to do first and see how it goes, and then if it's if it sells out, we're going to make more. Awesome. I saw the photo. I mean, you were posting on Instagram. The yeah, photos are the beautiful. Teaser. I mean, they look great. Yeah, like, I didn't know what to do because the, my partner, he really wanted me to do, like, a themed calendar, like, for Thanksgiving, do like themed photos, Christmas, whatever. And I really wanted to do that, but with everything going on, I just didn't have time to like plan out all that. Mm -hmm. So I was like, why don't we do like a Sports Illustrated type thing? Cause I know those sell good already. And I feel like we could make it look really nice with different locations. Mm -hmm. Um, So we did the swimsuit calendar. So hopefully people like it. So far I've been getting like positive feedback, so. Did your partner shoot it? No. Oh, okay. I was going to say, I was like, oh, my God. Oh, 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 okay. (laughs) Totally. I cut out and I misheard. I was like, wait, what? (laughs) And the Instagram Mm, page and the warehouse where all my stuff is at. Mm -hmm. uh, Promotion, all that stuff. Awesome. Isn't it wild you have a warehouse now? We do. We're in the same boat. It's like, call the warehouse guys. Have them ship some shit out. It's like, I remember when I first started trying to do things, I would just do it out of my house. Yes. I would have to go to the post office all the time. I'm like, I don't want to. No, it was horrible. The first time I did a shirt, oh. like I launched a shirt. We were living in New York and we were in a 600 square foot apartment. And it was 500 yeah. square feet of shirts. And I, and it was the worst <laughs> idea ever. I was like, what'd you say? I remember you had all those boxes everywhere. Oh, yeah. That's yeah. horrible. We wound up hooking up with uh, a bunch of Sicilian guys. Shout out to the Baccarellas. They helped. I mean, it was okay. like night and day. Everything's in the warehouse. You pick up the phone. Make sure the yeah. shit's yeah. out. They t- oh, It's like, oh, my God, this is awesome. <laughs> so much better. Yeah, <laughs> it is. Like, it was, that was a mistake. <laughs> the, I mean, if you think about it, the amount of time that you waste doing it and you can't get the bulk rates for postage and all the other stuff that these places right. can do. It, you're saving money actually having somebody do it for you by a long shot. Mm-hmm. It's just thank God for them. <laughs> well, yeah. I'm sure so you... much time 
And energy. Yeah. <laughs> and energy, yeah. And I'm sure you went through the same thing where it's like your shirt sell, sold out so fast and then you're like, oh shit, I gotta, I, I, I gotta ship this. <laughs> Yeah. Like, oh. like, yay! Oh! <laughs> I, gotta, I gotta figure out how to reorder and get more in. And, uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I love it. Okay, what's your website? I know your your Instagram for your merch is AJ's Merch, but what's your actual the sh- website they can go to? It's just AJmerch.com. AJmerch.com? Awesome. Mm-hmm. Okay, what's your favorite calendar month? Is it your birthday uh, month? It'd have to be. I gave my favorite photo I put for my birthday month. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we're birthday twins. Exactly the same. Oh, yeah. Exactly the same birthday. <laughs> I forgot until that just so, now. When were you born? What time were you born? Try to figure out which one of you is older. <laughs> You're literally the same day. I believe that I was born at like six, six something at night. Okay. So I think you're older. Yeah, I think I was two in the morning. Oh, wow. Oh, so you're like ancient. Yeah. You're like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for those listening that don't know, AJ and I had the exact same birthday in the exact same year. Yeah. It's like crazy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and but almost like, the exact I, same butts, so it almost. works out, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so. What is birthday? What'd you say? My shirt says, oh. I do what I want, when I want, where I want, except I have to ask my wife one second. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> okay, so I have some fan ma- some fan mail, some fan questions for you if you're up for it. Okay. Perfect. <laughs> yeah, this is gonna be always good. Okay. Number one, on. what what was the biggest fear you had to overcome when enter when entering the adult business? Uh, um I think that you would expect me to say, you know, performing in front of other people on set, but I think it was just knowing that once I do this, it's permanent Mm -hmm. and I can't go back and change it. And I kind of thought about it for like a year before I did it. And I was like, all right, I'm ready. Yeah. I I know that this is it and I'm good with that and I'm ready to try it. So it was definitely, you know, just seeing what people were going to say or think, I think it was like my biggest fear. How old were you when you got, that's not, this isn't, this is my own question, but how old were you when you got in? Were you? I was two, so I already had like a pretty good shoulder, you know, like. Yeah, 22 is, yeah. You're not like 18, like off the boat, like, hey! (laughs) (laughs) I was already so mature. Mm -hmm. And I realized, you know, with the younger girls that come in, like the 18 year olds, I know that they struggle because they're so young, you know? Yeah. I mean, there's a world of difference between 18 and 22. As, as, as little. As little as an age gap that is, there's a world of difference. By 22, oh, yeah. you're usually living on your own, paying taxes, figuring out a you know mortgage or a bill or something, and it's like, oh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. okay. Workout tips. Another fan okay. question. And I, I wrote it down because I was like, you have, like, the coolest workout routines, and you do all these crazy squats, and, like... <laughs> I definitely, I definitely don't watch it just for the butt. It's <laughs> not at all. <laughs> what kind of workout tips? I they just wrote workout tips. So like, do you? I know you you were documenting like your actual workout routines. So like a place they can watch them or. Yeah, I started doing that when I after I had my baby because I wanted to sh- you know give people. Um show them like okay you can get your body back it takes time whatever um I don't know I just feel like with working out you just have to have patience and you have to want it Mm -hmm. and um you just have to be dedicated if you really want to reach your goals you know yeah makes sense I mean you did you know you not not to throw your business out, but you cross the 30 line and you snap back. That's pretty impressive. It's, you know, that 30 line is a big change in a body. Yeah. Hey, yeah. man, don't expose us. Yeah, it's like, you Stop know. Stop exposing our age. <laughs> there are a few, a few of you guys. I've, it's like amazing. Forever. It's like you, Eva Lovia, a couple of others. It's like, the, yeah. how do you guys snap back in a year? Yeah. Carla, it's, it's unbelievable, it's you know, and everybody, you know, is pushing that or over the 30 line and that's. It's a huge body change. Your body slows down at 30. So yeah. congrats, guys. I, <laughs> I was definitely nervous about that, too, knowing, you know, 
I was pregnant when I was 30 and I was like, okay, I was so, I remember like the whole time I was pregnant, I was so worried and stressed out. I'm like, I'm never going to look like I, how I did before. Like, I'm so worried. I'm never going to get my body back. Like I just couldn't picture it after mm-hmm. having like a huge belly. I'm like, how is this going to go back to normal? Yeah. <laughs> it's just amazing. Like how the female body is after I had him, like literally in a week, my stomach was flat and I was like, Where'd that go? (laughs) Weird. Where'd that go? (laughs) I think since I was so into fitness before, Mm. my body kind of had like muscle memory and it was able to just snap back. Mm -hmm. And I worked out during my pregnancy too. So I think that helped as well. Am I crazy or are you you more curvier now? I think I look better now than I did before. I I think you do. I mean, you always looked great, but I think you look better than you did before. I think you were like, seriously look great. Yeah. I think you're more hourglassy. <laughs> like, but, like, you had, yeah, like, like your body was me, so good before, but now you're like, like Jessica Rabbit. <laughs> I was like, wow. <laughs> I don't know. I like your hips get bigger too when you're pregnant, and I already had big hips to begin with, so maybe they stayed just bigger. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever you're doing, just yeah. keep doing it. And I was before. I'm like way less now, and I'm in a smaller pant size than I was. Before I was pregnant. What? So crazy. You're like a... Right? Yeah. Babies are good for you. Have more babies. <laughs> I know. Work. <laughs> okay. More fan questions for you. Where are you the most ticklish? This definitely guy. my feet. <laughs> that guy definitely has a tickle fetish. Yeah, that guy's which, got a fetish. No, no kink shame. Hey, enjoy it. Um, what was the most special moment of your life? When I had my son. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that was a softball question. Yeah, I, 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 you know, maybe you know. Um, summer or winter? Another fan question. We're in Florida. <laughs> yeah, we're in Florida. Yeah, <laughs> I just think about it. <laughs> Our winter here is everybody else's version winter. of fall. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Especially coming from New York, we're like, is it December? It's like eighty out. We got friends who are showing snow and twelve degrees, and I'm like, it's seventy outside. You guys. New York? I'm sorry? Do you miss New York? I miss what New York was, but it's kind of, it's gone downhill a lot. So I, yeah. I miss the memories, but I don't miss what it's become. Yeah. Right, yeah. Um, okay, what Netflix show are you watching right now? Uh, I started watching Selena. Ooh! <laughs> Is it good? I haven't seen it. It's all right. A little disappointing. Nothing compares to the movie. Oh, right. Yeah, I forgot that. Yeah. Just not the same. Johnny Sins or Kieran Lee? <laughs> huh. I can tell uh, you which one, I can tell you which one would be more offended if you didn't choose him. <laughs> <laughs> Kieran. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> <laughs> okay, do you have any squirt tips? Um I mean, just stay hydrated. <laughs> Every time I get this as a fan question and I ask the girl, they always say the same thing. Drink Pedialyte, yeah. Yeah. Is this true? <laughs> so for those of you who don't, AJ was on the last episode we shot of Dinner with Danny, which was the butt episode. But you guys had a conversation about a scene yeah. where you saved her ass because... Yeah. <laughs> you were my, like, you were my saving grace. I couldn't squirt and you were doing all the work for me. <laughs> what you wait? What you say? You cut out. You were like, it's not happening today. <laughs> so, I really tried. I was just like, I can't. <laughs> and it's like you you can stay as hydrated as you want, but just for some reason, your body's just not there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like once I started doing squirting scenes, I really had compassion for male performers because I was like, oh, yeah. oh, okay, like. God, okay, sometimes you're just, you're, I guess your dick just doesn't work sometimes. Like, I get it. Like, yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't know how they have the hardest job for sure. Oh, yeah. Oh, that 100%. was, that, that's the, I don't know if you ever saw some of the other episodes, but they, the episode that we had the guys on, we had Charles, Johnny, and Small Hands on. It's, uh-huh. it's a wild ride of that. I mean, like, Small Hands even said, he goes, yeah, days I show up on set and my penis doesn't do what I want it to. And you're, like, looking down, like, hey, buddy, come on, you know? It's like. <laughs> yeah. Okay, 
favorite thing, this is my favorite question that somebody asked. <laughs> I know this one. Favorite thing you put in your ass? <laughs> my ass? Uh, I don't know if you can have a favorite, but you could. Can. Can. <laughs> I did this cupcake thing with Mikey Adriano once. That was kind of cool. <laughs> <laughs> Pushed it there, and then when it came out, it looked like the cupcake still. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> the was on top, the bread was on the bottom, and it still had, like, the shape. <laughs> I was like, how is that possible? Oh, no. <laughs> Butts are amazing. <laughs> um, if you did not get into porn, what job would you think you would have done? Um, I think maybe I would have been a vet. Oh. Uh. <laughs> I can see that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Absolutely can yes. see that. What is your only fan account? It's livewithaj.com. Into it, into it. You're welcome, people <laughs> listening. <laughs> One more time, livewithaj.com. <laughs> um, what scenes of yours do you recommend? Um, definitely... I love the one that me and you did for uh, Dana. Yeah, that's one of my favorites. That was Sweetheart, I want to say. Mm -hmm. Sweetheart bit. Yeah, when um, I had to swim and I could. Uh, you always get me on the worst day. She can't swim. What? You always get me on the worst days. They made me swim for that, and I can't swim, so I have to do this like weird doggy paddle thing. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> it's horrible. You couldn't even tell. Thanks. <laughs> Um, I don't know. My first game bang. Mm -hmm. Uh, my first DP. Uh, pretty much all my first, I think, would be good ones to go watch. <laughs> Agreed. Um, favorite food? Definitely Italian or sushi. I could live off that. We are birthday twins. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> and, okay, my last fan question is, do you have any upcoming projects? We kind of touched on it, but... Yeah, I mean, I have new stuff coming out for my OnlyFans as well. Um, I might be working on a lingerie line. Ooh! Nice. But Congrats. I'm not sure what's going to happen with that yet. Very cool. Yeah, Very talk cool. to us. We can give you all the pointers because it's a nightmare <laughs> when you get down that path. <laughs> yeah, and just with everything going on right now, I just don't know if now is going to be a time to, like, a good time to release it. Mm -hmm. So we'll see. But. You yeah, know, it's funny you said that, like, the biggest lingerie, just, just as a thing, the biggest lingerie sales points are Christmas, which were, were passed, and Valentine's okay. Day. Valentine's, oh, Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day would be good, though. Valentine's I Day. Mean, yeah. Huge lingerie yeah. purchase. And and somebody else told me um, June-ish, because that's a lot of weddings. Summertime weddings, uh, lingerie purchases shoot up around uh, then, too. like, everything white. Yeah. Makes sense. Yeah, if you think okay. about it. Oh, yeah, that kind of makes sense, you know? Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, for sure. Okay, I know you have your Yeah, time. you got you ready for mine? You get to answer my 10 questions. <laughs> what, did you guys pick out your favorite questions? <laughs> no, no, I ask, I actually no, ask you... everybody this who comes on the episode, so one of these days we're going to do a compilation. These are not fan questions. <laughs> these are not fans. These are mine. <laughs> so, so here you go. The first question is, what's the most annoying question people ask you? How did you get into porn? <laughs> <laughs> Well, one so day. Like, you're like, with my vagina. <laughs> what is your favorite way to eat a potato? Oh. Probably in a french fry form. <laughs> always, always a good choice. What would the title of your autobiography be? What would what? The title of your autobiography be. Oh my god, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, I have no idea. <laughs> that'd be a great, actually, that'd be a great title of my, my autobiography. I have no idea. <laughs> it's yeah. just perfect. Uh, what would, uh, I'm, I'm probably sure I can answer this for you, but what was the biggest turning point in your life so far? Definitely becoming a mother, for sure. It does kind of change you quickly. Like, I'm no oh longer just responsible for me. Yeah. <laughs> you know, same, same thing with being a dad. You, like, hold this thing and you go, oh, shit.
shit. Now I gotta be responsible <laughs> for something. I can't even get my own shit together. Now I got something else to worry about? Yeah. I know. But hey, it's been a year now, and he's still here, so I think I'm doing a good job so far. That's, that's what I always say, is like, oh, my, my kids are 30 and 27, I got a good track record. They've been alive that long. You should do good. That's good. <laughs> What are, uh, what takes up too much of your time? Uh, definitely answering messages on OnlyFans. <laughs> yes. I can understand that. You are not, oh my God, that's like, everyone usually says social media, but like, that's the truest answer oh, yeah. I've ever heard. <laughs> All my day. <laughs> <laughs> what, what are you most proud of? Um, what am I most proud of? I think just being able to become independent and still be successful and just be my own boss. Yeah, be, be, you know, most people don't realize that when you dive off that cliff and nobody's not giving you a regular paycheck, you know, one yeah. week you're doing well and the next week you're like, shit, how do I pay the rent? You know, it's like, it can get rough. Yeah. <laughs> what is your favorite smell? My favorite smell. Um, I love the smell of like, baking like cookies or like anything dessert baking in the oven yeah uh, this is the perfect time of year for that too right <laughs> like, i know the holidays i eat so much crap <laughs> <laughs> what gets you fired up uh i think just like working out <laughs> Like, after I'm done kickboxing, I feel like such a badass. I'm like, I want someone to fuck with me. <laughs> <laughs> I love that you kickbox. Like, that is a badass. Like, that in itself is just badass. It's great. <laughs> what do you wish you knew more about? Politics. <laughs> no, you don't. No, <laughs> no you don't. <laughs> I don't talk about it or I know I'm bad I don't even vote but I feel like I shouldn't because I don't know much about it. <laughs> can't, can't, can't say I blame you <laughs> uh, final question what's the one question you would want everyone you meet to answer you get one question of the person and they have to answer it oh they have to answer it yeah um Maybe, like, what's the most embarrassing thing that's happened to you in your life? <laughs> <laughs> that actually that's would tell you... That's juicy. I like it. That would tell you a lot about somebody, too. <laughs> that would give you an awful lot. Yeah, true. What someone thinks is embarrassing, might someone else might not think is so bad. Or yeah. you're like, oh, shit, you did that? Yeah. Oh, damn. <laughs> Wait, that happened to me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, shameless plugs. Yeah, what do you got to plug? Okay, so um, my OnlyFans is livewithadri.com. Um, my, wait, do you mean social media or link? Plug anything. Anything. <laughs> Plug away. <laughs> um, my merch is ajsmerch.com. Then for Twitter, it's AJ's Apple Booty. My Instagram is realajapplegate, and it's the only one verified. So I don't want to hear about people messaging you. <laughs> Join oh, the I get what you're club. Saying. I get what you're saying. Yeah. Join the oh my club. God. <laughs> um, and my merch is uh, Instagram is AJ's merch. It's it's funny you say that because I have had people message me as you, and I'd be like, really? hold on, yeah, I'm like, hold on, let me text you and ask if this is really you. You know, it's like I know you're you're like definitely that. you're definitely <laughs> up on the list of people who get. You know, those catfish scams a lot. It's crazy. It's the it's worst. It's so annoying, too, because sometimes I do feel bad for people, but then at the same time, I'm like, you didn't, they didn't FaceTime with you. Like, they had no proof that it was me, so why did you believe that it was me? Yeah. It's funny that you say that. They, they, have, a, they have the ability to do videos, but what they do is they do it in a way where they're getting a, a video of you that looks like you, but you can't see the mouth. So they're talking over the top of a video. They actually have, I mean, these guys are pros at this. They're making millions off of people. Millions, you know. It, crazy. Yeah, it yeah. is crazy. But you know, the fact of the matter is, is you can check and see that AJ's not in Ghana, you know? I mean, that's an easy thing to find out. And you can literally Google romance scams or Danny Daniels romance scams or AJ romance scams and a shitload of articles pop up about it. So. 
Yeah, oh, they're wow. professionals, but it's not that difficult to figure it out if you want to. If you want to, which is always the key. <laughs> No. That's the yeah, thing. that's the thing. Yeah, and it's like if you take the time to find me on social media, then why are you writing me hate mail? Because you've yeah. already solved your own mystery, there, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> right. And then I love yeah. it when they blame you, like, "Well, you should do more about it." <sighs> what? what? There's nothing more I can do. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. I'm verified. I'm everywhere. I'm really public. You just chose to fall for this. How the hell is this our problem? You yeah. Know? Yeah. Exactly. Right. Anyway, all right. Plug your book. Yes. <laughs> Wait for the corn <laughs> on Amazon. <laughs> um, and then all my stuff's at dannysthings.com. And if you guys are listening, please like, subscribe. Five stars are very appreciated, as well as positive reviews. And, uh, yeah, go check out AJ stuff. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I wanna, I'm excited for your calendar. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that. Yeah. But I want my butt I, shirt. <laughs> you have to put it in your room. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Above the above my bed, I'll just like yes. I was gonna hang it in my office. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you for coming on. It was so nice to catch up with you. You're welcome. So thank happy. you for having me. Yeah, and like I love, like we said before, like I love that you're just glowing and happy and just all good vibes. It's nice. Yeah. <laughs> it's fun. <laughs> well, hopefully we get to see you now that we're all in the same state. Yeah, Florida. <laughs> <laughs> That's definitely. Yes, Sounds please. good. <laughs> we'll meet the boy. Yeah, yeah, he and I can, uh, you know, compare notes being civilians. <laughs> Do not hot. Listen. <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye, Thanks, guys. For